Today I'm making onion rings as a side with cheeseburgers and I was going to show you guys how easy it is to make these delicious onion rings. I'm getting ready to make some onion rings and this is the second time that I've made them. It's so easy <laughs> and it's so delicious. In my bag I have two large uh, sweet onions that I've cut into rings and I'm just going to add about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cayenne pepper depending on how spicy you like it a tablespoon of kosher salt and then a quart of buttermilk you just pour it on then I'm just going to seal the bag Put this in the refrigerator and you want it to um, marinate for eight hours so into the refrigerator this is going to go and when i think about it i'll come in and uh, give it a flip so it can marinate equally during that eight hour period it's been eight hours since i started this uh, marinating these onion rings and every so often i'd come in the fridge and i'd give it a flip now we're on to step two. In my bag, I have three cups of flour, a tablespoon of kosher salt, and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. And I'm just going to take the onion rings, put them in the bag, give them a shake, and get them on a sheet tray. So now I have two big trays of onion rings and we're going to go on to step three. The buttermilk that we marinated the onion rings in, I'm just going to turn it out into a bowl. And I'm going to freshen up the flour mixture by adding three more cups of flour a tablespoon of kosher salt, and a half a tablespoon of black pepper. Now on to the next phase. We're gonna take the onion rings, dip them back into the buttermilk, and place them in the uh, bag of flour and give them a second coating. But I'm only gonna do um, how many I'm gonna fry at one time. So we'll just do in little batches. Now seal the bag, give it a good shake, get it all coated. We're going to take these right over and get them fried. I have my oil heated up to about 365 and I'm just going to start putting in the onion rings. I'm not going to crowd them, I'm just going to do them in batches. And fry them until they're golden brown. It takes about four minutes of cooking time. And you can use a fork to kind of flip them halfway through. It works pretty good. When the onion rings float and they're nice golden brown, you'll just go ahead and remove them to a tray and if you would like you can season them with a little bit of extra salt to make the fry sauce just to add equal amounts of mayo with ketchup and then I just added a little bit of sriracha to give it a little bit of heat alternatively you could add a little bit of cayenne pepper and garlic powder if you don't have sriracha and just give it a mix when I plate it up I just add a little bit of that fry sauce on the side and these onion rings, I'm going to have you listen to it. They're so crispy. Dip them in there. Yum! I hope you give these a try because they're disappearing fast around here. 